When I think about Rob and the work that he's done, I'm not only thinking about the murals, I'm not only thinking about public artwork that he's made, but I'm thinking about the impact that he's had on the artist community in Boston. So many people that I respect as artists in Boston, so many people who are close friends of mine, were mentored by him, were inspired by the work that he's done, and were pretty much brought up in this space where he was a leader, where he still is a leader. I think what sets Rob apart as a creative is he's a very thoughtful artist. He's not only doing a lot of research on the work that he's making, he's thinking deeply about the impact that it's going to have. He's thinking about where the work is going to be. And he thinks carefully about who the work is for, not only for him, but also for the people who are looking at it. I think mentorship and passing on knowledge and you know wisdom to the up-and-coming artists and up-and-coming individuals, young people, um, is how we grow as a collective and, you know, as a society in general. As a person, to me, he's like a, a father figure almost. Like he, I feel like I owe all of what I have as an artist and an individual to what I've learned from him and the fact that he was willing to take me under his wing and bring me into his life. And, both in and out of the art world, you know. Um, it's hard for anyone close to Rob to label their relationship with him, you know, um, because his presence in your life is something that's like very unique and cherished. I think that the work that Rob does is important to the city and the younger generations because it, it puts on display the city and the younger generations. It's kind of the mirror. Uh, his images often depict young black youth in these places where a lot of young black youth are. You look at that and you're just like, that's just beautiful. It feels good to look at, you know, what's blooming everywhere around us. And it's wonderful because it's also inspiring other young artists to really think about the neighborhoods that they are creating for and how can they contribute to the, the, the city's growing murals all around. It allows everyone else to see that this caliber of work exists and that it can be, you know, established through everyone else that cares about it or takes a moment to look at it. The city of Boston's real lucky to have that um, and for the future generations to come that are interested in artwork and graffiti or just style or whatever it may be, um, I just look forward to seeing what will come of that because if it's anything like him, it's going to be very, very serious and, and purposeful. Rob's built a foundation on seeing potential in people. For 30 plus years, he has been embracing and encouraging people to be the best version of themselves. Rob's the reason I'm here, because I don't think that where I was in 2015 when I applied here, I don't think everybody would have seen the same potential that he did. And if he hadn't given me a chance and continued to give me chances and teach me stuff, I wouldn't be who I am right now. And I think that a lot of people can say that. Rob is one of the most genuine and positive people I've known. That energy comes through in all that he does, whether it's being a dad or being a mentor or being an artist, and people just can't help but gravitate towards it. Somehow, even back in sixth grade when I met Rob, I knew he had the potential to become what he is today. And what, he is, what is he today? The leader that Boston needs. He's the person who mentored the people who are now the tastemakers and decision makers of our city. And that's why when they have the opportunity to choose which artists they want to support, Rob gets chosen again and again and again. It's why he will continue to beautify our city. Um, Rob's one of the best people I've, I've ever met in my life. That's why, you know, he's got like a hundred God children, because who else would you trust to raise your kid? Rob Gibbs, that's who because this guy is a stand-up person, uh, one who honors his word. Like I said, I mean, he's my oldest, most loyal friend. You know, if I needed to call on somebody, I would call on Rob. 
When the city of Boston is in need of some beautiful artwork, they need to call on Rob. It's just a good move. Um, you know what you're gonna get because uh, Rob will always uh, put his heart and his soul in every project that he steps towards. And that's why AFH will still breathe and represent the legacy that Rob has left here. Obviously, Rob is very well known as an amazing and inspiring mentor, as a reputable artist, um, as someone who can hold his own in the room with funders, with um, institutions like the MFA. Um, but when I met him in person, it was that instant connection, the passion for public art, the um, feeling of positivity that kind of exudes off of Rob, which is infectious. Um, in fact, one of the things I would say is when he first pitched the fellowship program um, to me, I immediately thought um, that this was going to be the person to kind of carry Artists for Humanity to the next future and the next phase of growth. Um, it was a significant change in terms of the model that AFH has employed in the past in terms of really focusing on teen artists and to really support people after that 14 to 18 year old segment. It was kind of a big leap for us to take um, and obviously not a immediate like revenue generating model. So really just thinking about the promise that our fellows could have, the connection to community. Um, Rob was clearly someone you would take that risk on, someone who would convince you of the impact that that would have on the community, a way in which AFH would actually begin to have sort of a long-term uh, sustainable impact on artists in the greater Boston area. Um, and I am super excited, even though, you know, there'll be a different mentor for the next fellowship. There's something he has created here that is truly exceptional. Um, and I think it's going to be part of his legacy. He's never going to leave AFH. He'll always be part of AFH. He's the absolute heart and soul um, of this organization. And I'm just glad that he's always going to be part of the family. In fact, he's agreed to join our board of advisors, and it's a great way for us to be more formally connected with Rob, no matter where he takes his career next, no matter what amazing accomplishments he does. And he's now gonna kind of turn the tables a bit and be able to tell us what we should be doing, what's going on in the community, keeping us connected, um, and just being a really authentic part of our board of advisors. To everybody in the AFH community and worldwide, I want to personally say thank you and peace. This is just the beginning of another journey, an extension to our chapter, the continuation of our practice, and the realization that like greatness comes from this building. We're all cut from the same cloth and I'm here just a mirror reflecting all the light that's been around us for plenty of time. I'm looking forward to not, you know, going on like I'm saying goodbye, but I'm more or less just saying, I'll see you later. I'll see you at the studio. You know what time it is. I'll see everybody at work. Peace and love. We're on flowing.